Ryan, first of all, welcome to Houston. I know now you're in Texas. Uh, what's the biggest difference for you uh, being in Texas, coming from Arizona, being in California, all those training camps? Any, any, any difference as far as your training goes? The one thing I do know is I love Texas. You know, Texas is one of the places that um, not only they show me a bunch of love, I just feel a different energy in Texas. I don't know what it is. Maybe it's like everybody's more real and just like authentic. I have no clue, but I love it out here. So uh, living in Dallas and, and just Texas in general is amazing. Ryan, what are you doing different and what makes you confident that you can beat Duarte next December? Well, not only my natural ability, but um, the technique I've been learning under Derek's been giving me a lot of confidence. You know, things that um, maybe I've overlooked or taken for granted, he's definitely not letting me uh, get away with it. <laughs> it's always constant uh, correction, but my skills have gotten better and uh, the focus is there. So, how do you, Mentally, how do you feel between the last fight and right now? Way better. You know, mentally, I was mentally drained. Uh, last go around just because of all the back and forth of if the fight's not going to happen you know them stalling just a lot of mind games so now you know it feels more like you know more secure mentally you're a big advocate of mental health obviously and coming off a loss how, how did you work to get uh, mentally prepared again to get in the ring you know i don't really i didn't really feel too bad after the loss just because you know it was a lot that was an uphill battle for me the whole way through it was like you know f I, i mean how can I feel bad? I'm, I'm literally dehydrated. <laughs> I'm, I'm like weak, you know, it, it wasn't like something that I'm like, damn, I, I was at my best and he beat me, you know? Like if I was at my best and, and sharp throughout the whole camp and I, I didn't have injuries, oh, I would be like, damn, that sucks. But for me, it's like, okay, you got me there, but I know I'm gonna build up, win at 140, and then hopefully I could get that rematch uh, later down the line. The punchline here is don't blink. How, how's your mm -hmm. speed now with a new weight class? Oh, it's, it's better, you know. Um, when you're at a lower weight class, it's like it could be faster, but if you if you're like lethargic because of all the weight you're losing, you're gonna be slower. So for me, I, f I feel healthy. My speed's there, you know. You seen with my Fortuna fight, I was fast, I was quick. It's because I was healthy. So now I feel that way. Right, you have a lot of a lot of people that love you, but you also have a lot of haters. Yeah. What do you tell both of them? You know what? It's just part of the game, but. You know, sometimes they say, what do they say? Your biggest haters, your biggest lovers, you know, love and hate's the same. But again, I'm just here to put on the best show for people. I show love to everybody, you know, whether you hate me or love me, you know, I'm just going to be there with a smile and, and, and just wish you the best. Do you feel confident uh, to finish the fight before the 12 round? I don't know, because I don't know this guy's chin. I don't know. I don't know. He's going to be at his A game. You really don't know. Like, this guy's going to be gunning for me. He's going to be trying to knock me out. I know that for a fact. So for me, I just got to stay focused the whole 12 rounds. If I see a great shot, hit him. He does a little leg, then I'll go after him. Last question. On the press conference, you mentioned that uh, some people have told you you don't belong in boxing. No, nah, I'm motivated. I'm ready to you know, show that I'm, you know, I belong in this sport and, and I belong at the top. How do you overcome yeah. that? And, and uh, anyone in particular you were directing that to? Or? Not really indirect. Like, it's kind of indirectly to people that have said, like, you know, like, I mean, there's people like Mikey Garcia, even Bernard was like, hey, we don't know if he's going to box after this. It's like little things like that kind of, you know, put that chip on my shoulder. So I'm here to just show them like, no, I'm, I'm here to stay. <laughs> no, I'm, I'm really boxing. Uh, I boxed since I was seven years old. I went through all the amateurs and, and done everything and I'm still hungry as ever. Uh, I just had a little rough patch. You know, that's it. Okay, one loss. You want to count me out? That's a mistake. It's a Thank mistake. You, Thank you.